Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. If you guys have missed out on any episodes, like always, you can check out the playlist, get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. As for today, uh, we have already added a member to, or a uh, commenter to the comment garden. Uh, Ross Heaps we added today for their comment, which was, uh, you need to make better armor so that way you don't die. And uh, yes, that is a good suggestion. I um, definitely have some plans on that and uh, I will show you some stuff here in a moment once we're done going through all of this stuff but uh, anyways Ross welcome to the comment garden much appreciated buddy for your suggestion uh, helps out a bunch and uh, yeah so for a member let's go ahead and add a member to the member zone today we are adding uh, so last time we added Sir Wolfwoods who is in the chat much appreciated Wolfwoods for being a member today we are going to add let's go ahead and add Tyler because they have been a member for Nine months. Holy schmoly. A lot of you guys have been a member for a long time. Uh, Cap just hit 13 months. Lizard Lips hit 13 months. Noah, 12 months. Wolfwood's 11 months. Tyler, 9 months. So let's go ahead and throw his name up here on the sign. And you shall live forever in the member zone. Much appreciated. Thank you for being a member for so long. Very cool of you. Much appreciated. Uh, but anyways, that uh, business now out of the way, let's go ahead and show you guys what I was doing since the last one. So, what I've done, I went ahead and I got a new villager, because I figured villager trading would be a good way to go as far as, like, getting myself geared up, because uh, Ross said that I need to make better armor. So what I've got here is we have a weaponsmith. So I'm going to have to trade him up to get him to the point where he's going to... Um, sell me good stuff, but eventually he's going to start selling me diamond gear. Now that's going to be pretty nice. Just friggin' hit the crap out of my table. <laughs> I can't believe how much of that intro I did and I was muted the whole time. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so we have that trader who's going to sell me good diamond armor, or not armor, but uh, weapons and stuff. Also, over here we had the igloo with a couple villagers. So I went ahead and I got a couple of good traders over here. So what we have now... Since we went ahead and got the um, stronghold, I decided that a good way to get ender pearls would be trading. So we got this guy that I healed, and he's giving major discounts. He's selling an ender pearl for one emerald, which I can get unlimited emeralds by trading sticks. So this guy is kind of popping off in my uh, ender pearl department. I think I bought enough to actually, yeah, I have enough to already fill up the um, the portal. I just need to get the blaze rods, which is going to be a little bit tricky. This guy, an armorer. And so he's trading me diamond leggings with unbreaking two, diamond boots with unbreaking two. Super good deals. Um, I think, did I already buy that or no? No, I think what I need to do is trade a little bit and get myself up to uh, the amount of emeralds I need. So uh, we can go ahead and do that today. Get myself some diamond gear because uh, like Ross said, I need to upgrade so I don't die so much. Especially when it comes to that zone, the nether zone, which we need to expand more. I think there's more we need to do in the uh, nether zone. I've been just working on slowly expanding out my cows and stuff, expanding out this area. Uh, I did a little bit of mining and like throwing some of these kind of chunks, the uh, cave chunks. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab some bamboo. Now, does anybody know, is it better to uh, make the bamboo directly? Oh, I was like, where did my pigs go? They're right here. Make the bamboo directly into sticks? Or is it better to make it into wood? I think the sticks might be better, right? That would give me... It gives you one stick per. But then if you do it like this, and uh, like this, that would be four sticks. So I think it is better to convert it. Convert it into blocks. Convert that into uh, sticks. I think that's the way to go. But uh, we want to get a lot of sticks because today we're going to trade with that stick trader and we're going to get a whole bunch of emeralds. Let's get all the sticks we possibly can. It's a decent bit of sticks. I can make a few more if I take this stuff out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just make that into sticks too. Such a great way to get money is by just giving these guys sticks. How neat is that? What's up, my dude? How much money will you give me for some sticks? Lots of money, lots of money. I think I probably have... Maybe some flint I could trade them too. That could be a good uh, good trading method. 13. All right, we're going to need a lot more. This is going to take a bit, but we can just keep at it as, we are, uh, as we're going here. We're going to keep producing bamboo over here. Uh, with that, we can turn that into sticks, and with that, we can you know go ahead and get more monies. I think I might have some monies put away somewhere. 
One of these chests. We have a little bit of monies. Ross says you should make um, more than one stick trader. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could do that. Let's see though. 20. Wasn't it 20 something to uh, to get the armor? Let's go ahead. We have like wheat and potatoes and carrots. I think I can trade some of that stuff. Oh, also another thing I didn't uh, mention yet. I did, in fact, expand my farmage. So I have farm down here now, which uh, I have carrots. Let's go ahead and grab some carrots. I don't remember if the other... I have a, a farmer, and I don't remember if he trades potatoes or if he trades carrots. I'm pretty sure he trades wheat. Let's go Let's go check it out. Larry Man says, Cap, help you today? Uh, on here? No. This has been a solo um, Minecraft series that I've been doing. I usually record them, but we're doing it live for the first time today. Yeah, so this guy does wheat and he does carrots. So that's another good way to get up some, uh, some emeralds. So 29. I think that might be enough for one bit of armor. Let's go check. You can get uh, 32 emeralds in one day with the uh, stick trader. Yeah, the thing I need to do is kind of keep... Ex I've expanded this a couple times. We have four spots now. So it's like a little more efficient, but we need to expand this out more, I think, to keep the uh, bamboo flowing. Also, some of the bamboo gets stuck and doesn't actually fall into the uh, hoppers. So that's kind of a bit of a bummer. <clears throat> but I think we're going to be able to trade for one piece of armor. And then uh, if I can get on here off camera, I'll go ahead and like do a little bit of grindage on picking up sticks and uh, doing some um, trading. Okay, so we can get pants. I think I'm not wearing I'm not wearing pants right now. I should be wearing pants, but I'm not. So we're gonna buy some diamond pants. Enchanted with unbreaking. So I'm definitely already gonna be a lot more protected from that. Uh, also, yeah, I did. Um, Ross's make a tree farm. True, I could do that. I did get iron gear already, so like I'm already a little bit more protected. I was wearing gold gear before. Now with iron gear, I'm more protected, and with diamond pants, more protected. So I think I should be all right. I should be good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab uh, some fragments. I think today we should throw. Uh, let's see what kind of fragments we have to throw. Actually, see, there's a lot of inventory sorting stuff that I end up cutting out when I record this. We have the malice fragment. We throw an island fragment. Should we throw an island fragment? So we haven't done one of those yet. I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be like an end uh, city island is what it's talking about, but we don't know for sure. I do have a decent bit of cobblestone. Let's grab some cobblestone, and um, we're going to head out in a direction. You can make more sticks from a tree farm than from a bamboo farm. Yeah, but the thing is with the bamboo farm is I get on here and I sit here AFK, and this is, auto this is just going on its own. I don't have to like actually mine trees to um, to get the resources here. Every time I'm on here playing, like when I'm recording, when I'm just like letting this sit AFK, I'm producing bamboo. So that's why I have this set up. That's why this is like nice a nice thing to have. I know I can get more with trees, but then I actually have to physically cut down the trees. Do the uh, trees are one? What is that? Oh, a treasure fragment? I've thrown one of those before. We could throw another one, but I haven't thrown one of these island fragments before, so I'm going to throw one of these. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna build off this way. We're going to build a bit of a platform out here, and then we're going to throw this island fragment. So hopefully it's something good. I think, I think we might be able to get some good gear out of this. Like if this turns into um, an end city island, which is what I'm assuming it's going to be, we're going to get something good out of this. We just kind of want to be far away because if it spawns in like shulkers, if there's like a shulker spawner or something like that, it's going to be kind of bonkers. Ross says, yeah. Yes, indeedy. Make some torches because I, I definitely don't want anything spawning out on this uh, area while I'm, while I'm out here. That could be bad. Why is it always raining? Every time I'm doing stuff, it's always raining. Uh, wait, make slabs. It's more efficient. That's all right. I have plenty of blocks. I have like, I have the uh, cobblestone generator. I have plenty of cobblestone is I'm not too I'm not super worried about it we're just gonna go like two stacks out I kind of want to be far enough away from the main island stuff and then we'll build a bit of a platform and we'll uh, we'll throw this fragment it's kind of weird that we're getting a uh, island fragment if it means an end city island then um, what is the point of having the end portal and going to the end if you can just go ahead and spawn in the islands right from here I'm wondering what does the uh, stronghold, what does the ender portal do? Does it actually take you to the end or does it like spawn a dragon in to your world? These are all kind of questions I guess the creator would have to answer if uh, he was here. And uh, also he can, um, 
I guess we'll have to answer it ourselves when we get to that point. So there we have that. Now let's go ahead and build out a platform. We'll throw this thing and we'll see what happens here. Do you want to make a tree farm on the new season of the members only server? Uh, no, I mean, what my plan is there is a automatic bamboo farm because um, the bamboo can automatically be gathered. And then with the auto crafter, the bamboo can automatically be crafted into um, wood and sticks. So like I don't even have to do anything and I'll be producing resources that I can trade for emeralds, like how I'm doing here. But there, it'll be like fully automatic, you know what I mean? Because we'll have the uh, the crafter that'll just be making this stuff all the way. Uh, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and throw this thing. Don't know how far it's gonna go. Okay, so that's weird. Yeah, it is, it is end islands. That's really weird. Okay, let's grab some of this stuff if, uh, if we can. Yeah, that's that's strange. Why would we need this? Like, if we're gonna go to the actual end, why do we need to do this? Maybe there's a chance it does spawn in like a um, an actual city or something. This is strange. But I'm gonna mine up a little bit of this. We'll build out like another little bit of a platform, and then we'll throw another one. Is there a chance like this actually spawns Enderman? If that's the case. That's kind of bonkers. Build out a little bit here. Keep fudging up my placement. This is, uh, this is very strange. I don't want to lose this fragment either. I don't want to risk it falling off into the void. Oh, it disappeared that time. Gosh darn it. That's a, uh, that's a strange one though. I wasn't expecting it to do that. I was kind of hoping it would be like the city so I could get some good loot, but we did not get so lucky. Uh, so Ross was saying we should throw a treasure one. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we've thrown those before. I think they give us other types of fragments. Um, we'll, we'll see though. And then uh, after that, we'll have to throw some more of the nether fragments because um, I need to get blaze rods. If I'm going to go to the end, we're going to need blaze rods, like, in a bad way. Do I have some? I have one. So that's kind of good. Let's throw this. Uh, what is, what's that orange one? What was that one? Pyramid. We've thrown those. We've thrown deep fragments. Uh, I'm going to make a creeper farm for gunpowder and make a pigman farm for XP as well on the new season, but to use it, you have to pay me 10 diamonds. So I think at that point, most people will probably make their own farms if they have to pay that kind of price to use yours, but maybe we'll get some kind of economy like that going. That would be kind of cool. Like I built, um, in the last season, I built a creeper farm, but it was kind of towards the end when people weren't getting on as much, so it didn't really get a whole lot of use, but I wasn't charging people either. All right, treasure, I think that just spawns a chest. Yeah, it does. And we get some gold, we get some diamonds. We got a heart of the sea. It's actually like a um, underwater treasure chest, I guess. Prismarine, iron, emerald, malice fragment. Let's try another malice fragment while we're down here. Because these are a little bit strange. They, uh... Oh, fudge. It's bad down here. Yeah, it's real bad down here. Oh, you friggin' frigs. Oh, I died. <laughs> nice. That is bonkers. These guys out here. By the way, to uh, the people watching on Twitch, if you don't watch on the YouTube channel, I have a series going on this, uh, which I generally record and upload. Um, so if you want to like check out some of the other ones, you can go and like check out the um, <clears throat> the playlist on that, and you can see some of the recorded episodes I did on this. Uh, Ross says that is very cheap for it. I was going to make it 50 diamonds, but decided to do it at 10 instead of 50. Yeah, but like, but like I said, if like it's something that everybody could just build on their own, they're probably going to do that versus having to pay somebody. You know what I mean? Knock these guys out of here. Oh, oh, we can get a disc. Oh no, I <laughs> right into the void. Where am I? I don't even know where I'm at. I think I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording from the last one, so I'll have the uh, footage to go ahead and edit up and do a video. I've been kind of fudging it up today. My intros I fudged up. Dragon Age was just kind of fudged up in, <laughs> in general. Not unmuting my mic. I need to remember to do that. It's always embarrassing when you're talking for like five minutes and then your mic was not, uh, not unmuted. But for you, I will make it free for you. Oh, okay, nice. Appreciate that. I think uh, we'll probably have like community projects. That might be something that we have like going on in the community anyway is like somebody 
Because, like, we're going to have votes for who's going to be king, right? Everybody who's on who's, like, a landowner can be in the running for king. They can make rules. So, like, I know for me, a rule I would make would be, like, okay, you have to build some kind of farm that's going to help everybody out. Yeah, the malice fragments. Oh, wait, what? Why is he... Why was he spawning in soul sand? That was weird. Wolfwood says, man, I've done that too many times. <laughs> yeah, see, because, like, I was out, I was doing stuff while I was on the break, like, while I had it, um, I'll be back screen. So I had it muted so that way you guys wouldn't hear, like, while I was out doing stuff over in the other area. But then I came back, and it's like, all right, I'm ready to go. Let's freaking go. Uh, didn't unmute. <laughs> Don't know why that one was dropping soul sand. That's kind of weird, but, oh, well, it's kind of handy, I guess. Uh, see the desert temple you have? You should use it to get emeralds. What do you mean? How can you use that for uh, onions? God dang it. There's just so many creepers that keep spawning in. Are you talking about, like, um, doing the archaeology? Because I've already done the archaeology on it. I've already, like, uh, dusted off some of the stuff. I need to throw some stuff out. I guess I have a lot of those. I probably have a lot of bones, too. I could probably throw out the bones. God dang it, dude. Frig! There's so many of these idiots that just keep spawning in. I'm having flashbacks to Dragon Age, never-ending waves of enemies that won't let me that won't let me do stuff. <laughs> I can't save my game. All right, yeah, that's a big problem on this. Um, yeah, it's a kind of a problem with Minecraft in general now is like the fact that they've added so many items in that inventory management is horrible, even with like shulker boxes and stuff. Trying to keep your inventory, like, sort of organized is, it's impossible. You know, the temple, you get a chest. Yeah, I've already, I've already gone in the, in the chest. Like, I've already looted the chest. That was, like, the point of me, uh, throwing that fragment was so that way I could get the loot from it. So, I mean, I've already, I've already done that. I can throw more of them. I do have, um, let's see here. I do have another pyramid fragment. So, I mean, I could throw another one and get, like, uh, more emeralds. But for today, my goal is kind of, I think, going to be blaze rods. Let's go ahead and throw the, uh, I guess we'll throw the golden chest blade on so we don't get attacked. So, and then we're going to go throw some, um, some nether fragments. Where is, did I have a chest for, like, nether blocks? I guess we can just throw this into here. Uh, chains. I love inventory sorting in Minecraft. It's so, so good. But yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. Like, they really... They've added so many items, but they haven't added ways for you to, like, really store them, like, in a good way. Inventory management is just, like, really bad. Right, we're gonna go try some, uh, some nether fragments. Ross is wanting a pyramid. We'll throw a pyramid at the end. How about that? I mean, we've already got the diamond pants. Like I said, I can kind of grind for uh, emeralds off camera. If I just leave this open and I just chill in my house, that bamboo farm will be producing bamboo like crazy. Give me a bunch of sticks. Um, oh, no. Fudge. That uh, bamboo farm, you know, if I just leave it AFK, that'll produce like crazy. I'll get a bunch of sticks. I can trade for emeralds. Uh, and I can also work on trading with, like, the farmer, getting emeralds that way. It wouldn't be an episode... Oh, I forgot that that does that. Wouldn't be an episode without me falling to my death in the void. Ross wants me to, uh, really, he really wants me to throw that pyramid fragment. We're going to throw a couple nether fragments, and then we'll throw the, uh, pyramid. I really want to get some more blazes. See if I can get some, uh, blaze rods. I got to be careful opening chests around here, because if there's, um, piglins, they'll get mad about that. Ooh. Uh, fire sword, curse of binding. Yeah, that's not good. Efficiency hoe. That doesn't really help me much, does it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fudge. I need to, um... I need to take this guy out. This is gonna be tough. I wanted to be prepared with blocks, and I forgot. This is gonna be bad, too, if he dies on this platform and he drops his drops into the void oh what did he drop oh it went into the void all i got was the iron the other thing he dropped might have been a fragment fudge that sucks all right this time i'm not going to make that mistake i need to have blocks in my inventory ready to go 
Because I, what I need to do when I spawn him in, I need to pile up a couple blocks. So that way he can't, like, actually reach me. So if I keep those there, fudge, at least we get the chest. Maybe we'll get a fragment. He dropped some magma cream. See, I don't know if he was dropping regular magma cream or if he was dropping Curse of Vanishing. That's not very helpful. Gold boots. Soul speed. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and put the gold boots on so we can put the more protective chest on, chest plate on. Yeah, that kind of sucks a bit. We're getting these swords, but they're not the best swords. It was magma? Yeah, but like sometimes you have like the regular magma cream, but you'll also have um, uh, a fragment that looks just like it. So you never know. That, that could have been a fragment that looked like a uh, magma cream. You know what I mean? Or malice. I guess those are kind of good. We can... Oh, they're going to get mad at me because I opened the chest. Why are they so dumb? Like, it's not your chest. Why are you mad? It's not even your chest. I'm getting a lot of these ruined portals. Ooh, a lot of iron. Fortune axe. That's not really, that's not really handy. There we go. There we go. No, how does he hit me still? No, how did he hit me? How the frig did he hit me? He doesn't have that much reach. What the fudge? Throw this out of here. I got a couple of graves I can grab some stuff out of. Dude, and he's going to despawn. They always despawn. Why am I having such bad luck with these guys? We're going to try a few more nether fragments. Our nether zone is growing like crazy. No! Oh, god dang it. I was in too much of a hurry. Fantastic. The chest. Yeah, we do have the chest there still, so... So that's good. We can uh, we can grab whatever's in there. I'm kind of... I'm thinking that, like, the uh, pig... Uh, what's he called? The brute. The piglin brute. I'm thinking that he's gonna probably drop some kind of new fragment. So that's why I really want to take him out. You know what I mean? I think I think we might get some kind of new item, or not new item, but like a new fragment, so just a new area that we can spawn in if we can successfully take him out. But every time we keep getting butted up and like he keeps, uh, you know, he's he's not giving me a chance to get up onto a block. That's a curse of vanishing. Okay, nice. Oh, look at what we got. We got. We got friggin' pig step. Of course we did. Uh, he went on the chest. You think that's why he was able to get at me? All right, so hopefully we'll get another one. What can I get rid of? Let's get rid of that one block. Oh, by the way, another thing. I got an axolotl. Um, some of the caves I was spawning in were the lush caves, and so you can get axolotls. I actually got one. I think there was more over there, too. So, yeah, we have... Um, a new pet. I have to build a tank for him. He can uh, be buddies with the pigs. I don't really have room in my house for like a fish tank though, which is kind of bad. Oh, there we go. That's new. I don't really want to. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't really want to fill my inventory up with more stuff, so. Let's go ahead and, like, get rid of this. We'll keep expanding out this way, I guess. Grab some more of this stuff. This will be my new build-up block if uh, we get into trouble. Pig Step is the best, you say? Yeah, Pig Step is... Oh, that one, that one disappeared. That kind of sucks. Pig Step is a pretty good one. I do like Pig Step. I think I kind of like that other one, though. Um, what the heck is it called? The one I was playing... Um, on the server the other day. Hmm, what is this? Just more crapola? We'll go ahead and just throw one up on this. Dang it, we're getting the same stuff now, over and over. Come on, give me... Oh, here we go, here we go. Actually, I don't need, I don't need to kill Enderman. What am I thinking? Because, uh, you know, I already have the Ender Pearl trade. So we're good. We're good on that. Oh, no. We don't want this. We don't want this. Frig. 
No, this is that's not what we wanted at all. Did I get a uh, gas tier though? Probably fell right into the lava. Wait, no, we got a gas tier. Can I get rid of? Other side is the one you played? Yeah, see, I think I like other side better than pig step. Pig step's good, but it's just a little bit, um, I don't know. It's not like quite as light, you know, like other side's kind of like light and happy sounding. Obsidian, oh, a golden apple, nice. Bane of arthropods, that's not helpful to anybody. Nobody likes that. Fire protection three, that might be kind of useful. All right, let's just keep it going. I'm waiting for one of these to be another um, bastion. Oh boy, we have Soul Sand Valley. Oh, he's on fire. That's what you get. That's what you get for being a dingle hopper. Let's get over to here. We'll throw a fragment onto here. Dang it, we're getting we're getting a lot of the same junk. Throw two at a time. I don't know what that would do. To be honest with you. We could I guess we could try it. It might just kind of frig things up. Yeah, see it just kind of spawns two areas like real quick. Oh no, and it's a gassed area. Get out of here, gas. Nobody nobody wants you. Gas are the worst. Break this crap. Get this out of here. Fudge, why did a skeleton spawn in? Right, we got our fragments back, so that's that's nice. I kind of need some more blocks once again. Really don't want to end up in a bad situation with one of the freaking brutes again. Oh, I thought I was about to fall into a hole into the void. More of this area, that's cool. Sure, and it's just got a big hole in the middle. You love to see it. Love to freaking see it. More gassed area. Fudge. Get lost, you frig. What kind of fragment did that drop? Those generally drop fragments, I think. We're not getting any of the ones that I actually want. Like, I want Blaze Spawner. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Did we get a blaze rod? We got a blaze rod. That's actually what I was looking for. Don't be mad. Don't be mad at me. Go away, please, because I want to open this chest in peace. Diamonds, yes. Oh, yeah. And a blaze rod. Okay, we got two blaze rods. Uh, get rid of the bone. Gold sword. We're getting deep fragments. Inventory completely... Oh, he's mad, isn't he? I'm going to run home, because... Things are, things are kind of rough. Did you know that a gas sound is like a cat? Yeah, they made it from a cat. Um, it's actually a cat sound that they played backwards. No, they didn't play it backwards, did they? I know some of the sounds they did in Minecraft, they played them backwards. And that's how they got such weird sounds. Anyway, let's go sort my inventory out. Let's go throw Ross's uh, pyramid. We can also do some archaeology. When you throw the pyramids, you get the uh, areas where, you know, you get archaeology stuff. Uh, so we got a lot of iron. We could turn that into ingots. Throw that into here. We got some nuggets. We can some more nuggets. We could turn into ingots. I love how just smashing some um, gold nuggets or you know iron nuggets together, it just somehow it turns it into the ingot. It just works, you know? You just can't question it. So we can throw our iron boots back on. They played it very slow. Okay, yeah. So I, I think one of them, maybe it was the uh, Enderman. They played the Enderman backwards, I think. It was some kind of normal sound, but they played it backwards, so that way it sounded real funky. So three, that'll make me six blaze powder. And we need quite a bit more than that to be able to... Uh, you know, go ahead and go into the into the end. If that is the case, if the portal actually takes me into the end, maybe it's just gonna spawn or give me end fragments, like how the uh, Nether portal does. How it doesn't actually like take you to the to the place. It just like spawns in um, a fragment for you to take and actually restore. Maybe that is what it is. Maybe it just gives you end fragments, and we're gonna have to restore the end 
in an area. Dude, that'll be kind of bizarre. Uh, should we go up? I think we should go up. Yeah, because that area down there is kind of bad. It's kind of bad for my health. I mean, this area up here is not much better. There's, like, a lot of bad things getting spawned in over here. A lot of things fall on your head from up here down into, like, that other area. Dang it, I'm poisoned. Ayo. Oh, fudge. Hold on. I'm getting frigged up. I have to go. Holy crap. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, god. Dang it. I died. <laughs> oh. We still have... We, we don't lose... We uh, have keep inventory. The uh, creator was nice enough to give me keep inventory. But I appreciate that, Ross. Ross dropped another two euros uh, for me to throw this fragment. And I really appreciate that, Ross. You have seriously done a lot today on uh, donations of memberships and dropping some... Uh, tips and stuff. I greatly appreciate it, buddy. You are a very good member, follower, and all that stuff. What does this do? Oh, I can, um, I can put like a, uh, you know how like on comments, how I can put like a, whatever you call it, um, a soup, is it a super like, something like that? You have your regular like, and then the creator can put like a little heart thing on them. I think, I guess I can do that on, um, on tips too. It's kind of nice. All right, so I suppose we can uh, just throw this thing over here, right? Why not? Oh, frig, frig, frig. <laughs> that was good. Let's see where I'm at. Spawn me in the, in the ground. Let's go get some, uh, some treasure. What are we going to get? Ross says that was funny. I was not expecting that. Not one bit. We're getting some more TNT. Uh, some sand. Not useful. Some gunpowder, maybe good for something, not too sure. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I, I'm, oh, we got a couple emeralds, nice. Getting some more smithing templates. We'll have to throw that onto my uh, gear. Ooh, an apple, nice. We're missing a chest. We're missing two chests. How did we, something went weird here. We ended up missing two chests. Yo, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. I was not expecting that. This thing spawned weird, didn't it? Oh. Oh, you know what? Like, what the heck happened here? I'm kind of confused. Take the rotten flesh and trade it. Oh, true. Yeah, I could do that for emeralds. It's a good thought. I also, I have the mob spawner, so I can kind of get a... That is, uh, yeah, I never really thought of that. I have the mob spawner. I can actually get a lot of rotten flesh to trade for uh, emeralds. Yeah, I never thought of that. That's a, that's a good point. Wait a second. We have a... S Yo, this is weird. Diamond's nice. Bones, not really that great. This thing spawned really strange. I'm very confused, like, how this, how this happened. Like, what is even going on right now? And where am I even at? Like, am I, am I even going to be able to get out of here? It seems like it spawned, like, multiple of these or something. This is one I've already checked out, I think. Ross says w, WT Fudge. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. It's like it... Okay, so here's the entrance. So you would go in here and you drop down here. But it's also... Where the heck... I'm so confused. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm so confused right now. What the heck happened? I think maybe it just merged with the other one in a weird way. Let's throw some cave fragments. Frigate. Let's just throw these around here. This area is already all butted up. Let's just go for it. We'll come back and explore that later. I need to find my way out of here. That's bizarre. Some of these things spawn in very weird. So let's go see how much rotten flesh I actually have, because that's a good point. I, that's something I hadn't thought of. That's a pretty good way to get emeralds. I'm 
The main thing I'm getting from these cave fragments also is like coal. So maybe I could trade coal. It's not the best option. Not the easiest. Yeah, see that? Like just in the time we've been on here, we've got 60, um, 60 of those, uh, whatchamacallisms, bamboos. So let's go ahead and throw this stuff away. Oh, nine. Let's make a block because that actually is an achievement, an advancement. We need to make an advancement. Ayo. Bows. M-O-H. Uh, so next up, like as far as advancements, we need to create an ancient city. How we're going to get that fragment, I don't know. We need to create a outpost. We need to create a woodland mansion. We need to create a bastion, get netherite uh, upgrade. We need to defeat the wither, craft an ender chest. Uh, we've crafted a stronghold, so we kind of cut ahead. We need to enter the end. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure where we're going to get these kind of uh, fragments. Oh, yeah, look at all this rotten flesh I already have. Grab some of these emeralds. Let's see if we can get the uh, next diamond gear today. See, we can also... We can also go ahead and come over here. And uh, we'll get a bunch of rotten flesh like this. Yeah, actually, you know what? I don't think they drop it that often because uh, they drop the fragments instead. I think I'm. Oh, you know, you know what? They actually are. They're dropping it. They do drop it less frequently, though. I think because they drop the fragments. Yeah. See, I'm not seeing. We're picking up a lot of these fragments. No! I was just trying to get rid of it. I forgot that it would do that. It didn't frig up my... It frigged up my redstone, didn't it? No, it didn't. I think we're alright. I forgot that it was going to do that. Is this still work? Okay, this all still works, I think. I need to remember not to throw these things out because they do that. Uh, if I didn't say anything about that, you would have, you wouldn't know to do that. Yeah, true. I wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have thought of that. I'm just trying to get rid of them out of my inventory, and I didn't even think that it would cause it to spawn in. But I think this is this is still the same. So I don't think any, we didn't have any harm, any real harm. Like it's impossible to get rid of stuff because you go like this, and then all of a sudden, look it. Look what I just did. <laughs> I didn't, why didn't I not think to do that before? Watch this. Look at the cavage. Dude, that's, that's insane. That's kind of insane. I forgot what I was even trying to do. What was I, what was I, what was my plan here? Oh, trading. Yeah, let's trade some rotten flesh. Let's get some emeralds. Yeah, and he gives me discounts, too, because I, I cured him. So he's a nice guy. 20? Uh, what do I need? I need 21 for the boots. We're almost there. Anything else I can kind of uh, trade here? We could go and do the... Uh, go hit up the bamboo farm. No, you need, to, you need to get out of here. You don't belong here. Oh, he dropped another fragment. That's kind of good. We can go trade some sticks, because I do have more bamboo. Uh, I got like 60 bamboo from uh, just, you know, the time we were on here. Probably leave this AFK for a while, too. Let that bamboo kind of build up so we get more sticks that we can trade for more emeralds. We're getting diamond pants and diamond boots today, though. Um, all right, so we need to bamboo it up. Make some sticks. Make some more sticks. Um, that sh that's not gonna be quite enough. That was funny what you did. Yeah, see, I I really fudged that one up. I didn't even I didn't even think of it, man. I'm just trying to like throw stuff out of my inventory. Didn't even cross my mind the fact that it's gonna cause th those things to uh, spawn in. So it was 21 for the boots, right? We can go ahead and go get the boots. I think. Play pig step. I don't have a uh, jukebox. I mean, I have diamonds. I could make one, but I'd uh, prefer not to waste my diamonds on, on that. 
I'm going to trade this guy up to get him to uh, where he's going to trade me some diamond weapons. Uh, but I'll probably do that off camera. We'll get all that stuff set up. So I'm pretty much going to be geared out. My next maneuver is just going to be kind of trying to get the uh, the next fragments. Like, because I have to... Somehow I have to make a villager outpost. Somehow I have to make a woodland mansion. I have to make an ancient city, a bastion, a fortress. But like, I don't know where, where do I get those fragments? Yeah, I know I can make one, but I really don't want to waste my... I, I don't have... I only have nine diamonds, so I kind of don't want to waste my diamonds on making a uh, jukebox. You know what I mean? Um, and I think I've done probably just about all there is for me to do today. Kill that creeper. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day for today's episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future streams or videos. Join the Discord if you want to come by and chat. If you want to help support here on YouTube, it's only 99 cents to become a member. That gets you a bunch of cool perks like access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server you could join when you want or with me. When I stream that, probably going to be Fridays. Um, you also get emojis you can use next uh, in the chat, emojis next to your name that say what level you are. You'll get all kinds of cool stuff. Also, if you are watching on Twitch or if you want to watch on Twitch, you can follow over there. That helps me out a bunch trying to get the uh, affiliate over there. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.